Hi guys, I'm Sarah Beth, and this is the Gentle Yoga for Low Back Pain. There is an option to prop a posture at the end of class today. So if you have some extra pillows lying around, grab four of them and place them next to your mat. Otherwise, you're welcome to continue without props. When you're ready to begin, get on your mat and lie down in Shavasana. Extend your arms and legs out long. Gently close your eyes and relax your entire body. Notice if you're still holding or molding yourself into position and let go. Let your whole body melt into the mat. softening the muscles in your back, legs, neck, and face. Relax. Begin to deepen your breath. Draw in long, smooth inhales through your nose and feel your belly and chest rise. Then long, releasing exhales through your nose, slowly waking up your body. Bring small movements to your hands and feet. Then pull your navel in towards your spine and one at a time, bend your knees to place your feet flat on the mat for a bridge pose. Feet are hip distance apart and pull your heels in close. With your weight anchoring down evenly through your feet, begin to tuck your tailbone up to the ceiling and slowly lift your hips up off the mat. Hold at the top and keep your tailbone scooping up to the ceiling for a long lower back. Legs are strong with your knees tracking forward and your breath stays smooth and deep in and out through your nose. Slowly lower the same way you came in. Be mindful of smooth and controlled transitions. Once your hips lower all the way down to the mat, take a moment to settle into your natural curves. Then to set up a figure four, place your right ankle on your left knee. Stack joint on top of joint, and you can gently push your right knee open or go a little bit deeper by threading your hands through to interlace underneath your left thigh. Ideally, your shoulders and hips can stay grounded and relaxed. As you breathe smoothly in and out through your nose, allow the tension to melt from your hips and back. and gently release. 
place both feet flat on the mat. And when you're ready, switch sides. Take your left ankle to your right knee and either push your left knee open or take it deeper if you did on the other side. Thread your hands through to interlace underneath your right thigh. Relax what you don't need and breathe into this long hold. and gently release. With both feet flat on the mat, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open like a butterfly. Place one hand on your heart and the other on your belly. And as you feel the natural rhythms of your body, allow your inner thighs and lower back to soften. If you're feeling tension in your lower back, then consider backing up for a moment to scoop your tailbone up to the ceiling. Doing so will lengthen your lower back. Then, lower your hips back down and let your knees fall open. You can also experiment with the distance between your heels and hips. Wherever you are, gently close your eyes and relax. Place your fingers behind your ears so your elbows splay open. Press the soles of your feet together and feel your core engage. Take a big, long inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Peel your head, neck, and shoulders up, not crunching forward. So there should still be space between your chin and chest. Keep your feet firmly pressing into each other. And if you wanna take this a step further, then lift your legs and feet up off the mat as well. Make sure your lower belly doesn't pooch up and your breath is smooth and controlled. Now slowly lower, legs and shoulders down to the mat. Take a big long inhale. As you exhale, lift head, shoulders and shoulder blades up off the mat. Keep breathing smooth and slow while you're lifting and again, you're not crunching. Keep your chin off your chest. Belly stays firm and does not pooch up. Legs are firm, feet pressing into each other, and lift your legs if you want. Keep your breath controlled. And slowly lower. One last time, take a long inhale. Then exhale to lift. At this point, you may be feeling a little fatigued, so you're welcome to keep your legs down and focus on that flat lower belly and the tips of your shoulder blades lifting up off the mat. Breathe in and out through your nose, slow and smooth. This is the engagement that will help stabilize your lower back, stay strong. And slowly lower. Take your hands down to your belly. Feel your navel pull in towards your spine and use that engagement to draw your knees together 
and into your chest. Hold on to your shins and roll over onto your left side. Keep your knees tucking in close as if you had a belly ache. And from here, reach your right arm up to the ceiling and slowly lean back as you open up into a twist. Allow your shoulders to unstack so the ground behind you may even catch and support your right arm. Then relax into place. And with each exhale, let go of any unnecessary tension. Curl your right arm back in. Keep your knees tucking in close and roll onto your back. Then roll onto your right side and stay tight in a tiny little ball. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling and gently lean back as you open up into your twist. There is no need to force. In fact, straining for a stretch is really only fighting yourself. Instead, gently relax and release over time. Curl your left arm back in, then keep your knees tucking in close and roll onto your back. Hold on to your shins for a full wind pose and notice any new sensation in your lower and middle back as you let those muscles soften. Then for a healthy way to sit up, roll over onto one side and use your hands to press yourself up to seated. Then make your way onto your hands and knees for a tabletop position. From tabletop, Drop your belly and lift your chin. Inhale. Then exhale to round your spine and tuck your chin. Inhale, cow pose, belly drops, chin lifts. Exhale, cat back, tuck and round. Get your whole spine involved from the crown of your head through your tailbone. Again, cow pose, inhale. Big breath in as you open up. As you exhale, cat back, round the spine and press your middle back up towards the ceiling. One more time, cow pose. Then cat back. Come back to a neutral spine and walk your hands forward about six more inches. Curl your toes under and lift your hips high and back for a downward facing dog. Keep your spine long and alternate bending your knees to ease into your hamstrings.
whenever you're ready. Lower your knees back down to the mat and settle into an extended child's pose. With your knees as wide as comfortable, your hips to your heels, arms out long in front of you. Relax your shoulders, hips, thighs, and even the muscles in your face. And as you rest here, relaxing over time, feel your breath travel up and down your spine, creating space in your lower back. If you didn't bring props to your mat for this practice, you're more than welcome to stay in this pose, child's pose, until the video ends. But make it something like a yin posture. Relax and feel your body soften over time. If you did bring props to your mat, then take your time as you rise and set up your props so you can place one pillow at the back of your mat. If it's a flat pillow, you might want to fold it in half. Add your next pillow so it's going lengthwise with the back half of your mat and partially overlap the first pillow. Then take a seat on your mat so the pillow going lengthwise meets your lower back. Place the last two pillows on both sides of your legs and you can always peek at the screen for more assistance. When you're ready, gently lower to lie down on your pillows and adjust here so your lower back is long and your upper back and neck are supported. When you feel comfortable, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open onto your last two pillows. You can pull those pillows in close to support your thighs or even fold them in half to double their height. Or if you're feeling flexible, you can push them open closer towards your knees. Keep adjusting until you find a position that you can melt into. Then place your hands wherever comfortable. Close your eyes and relax. Trust the support of the pillows beneath you. So your inner thighs can release, your lower back can relax, and your whole body can melt into place. You can stay here or in your child's pose for as long as you like. When you do eventually come out, do so slowly and mindfully. Thank yourself for committing to your practice today. And I thank you for joining me in today's gentle yoga routine for lower back pain. Take a moment to check out my Yoga for Back Health playlist linked on the screen or down below for more routines, practices, tips, and tricks for back and neck pain. Practice this video three times a week for the best results, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Friday. Please comment down below if you enjoyed this routine, and especially if you found relief through yoga. Have a good day.